Hey guys, it's Holly. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. There is a ton of content on Skillshare. There is film stuff, photography, art, lifestyle, pretty much everything that you can think of creatively, they have it on Skillshare. So I just got done doing a class called Designing the Life You Want for Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. This class was only like 22 minutes long, but it was a little bit life-changing. I know it sounds really cliche, but I really, really liked it a lot. Part of the class is that she gives you a workbook that you print. So I printed it off and did all the exercises and they were amazing. One of them was to make an anti-vision for your life. So usually people say, what do you envision your life will be in five years, like your dream? Well, this was to imagine like where you don't wanna be in five years. Like what would your life look like in five years if you were extremely unhappy? And I'm not gonna lie, I was crying while writing it because I was like, dear God, I really, really don't want this to happen. And it scared me <laughs> into changing how I'm living my life now so that I don't end up with that reality. So I thought it was a really, really great exercise. I thought that all of the exercises were fantastic so I highly recommend it make sure you check it out it's only 20 like 20 minutes life-changing the best part about Skillshare is that because it's curated just for learning there's no ads which is great because you can just go through the class and focus on what you're trying to learn and it's also less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link down below in the description will get a free trial of premium membership again thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video hey guys it's Holly so today I'm going to be opening up some toys that I got two years ago um when we went to japan two years ago we went to the kotobukiya store and i was very excited because i have loved kuposh um since they first came out really and i wanted to buy some stuff and i don't know why i have just held on to it i've been wanting to open them and i've been wanting to make a video about opening them but it just never happened and i just turned into a thing where I just kept putting it off for some unknown reason. I don't really know, but I recently decided to get another Kuposh, so I decided, okay, we finally need to open these. I don't, I honestly don't know why I've held on to them for so long. So basically, yeah, I have a Kuposh haul for you guys. So the very first one I have here is the limited edition Anne, and this is the cotton candy Anne. Um, now, Anne was the very first Kuposh that I ever got, the original one, and I fell in love. I love Kuposh. If you don't know, Kuposh, um, it's kind of like a Nendroid, only they're posable, and they have actual fabric clothes, which I love that about them. I think they are super cute. You can change their face plates, and they're just really fun and adorable, and I love them so much. So let's get into this okay here she is oh my gosh look how cute her eyes though her eyes are really adorable and they have little hearts in them and stars and she has really cute pink hair it's like a gradient from a light pink to a dark pink super cute so you can bend their arms you can also change their hands i think she might have come with extra hands did she Yes, she came with extra hands. Super cute. I love her little dress that she's wearing. Now, you also get this, which is like a little hair clip. Because she has a magnet in her head. Somewhere. There. So she has like a little clip. So these are the extra hands that come with her. She has hands that are in a gripping position and if you have different accessories you can put them in her hand um i have a lot of videos on kuposh showing some of the things that you can put in their hands i made a little wand for my harry potter dollhouse for the kuposh in that video then you have the stand and the stand has a magnet because there are magnets in her feet so you do get the little arms to hold her up but because she has magnets in her feet she pretty much can just stand up on her own. Super cute. I love these so much. So I also got this little outfit, which is super adorable. So here she is in her little outfit. So this is a three-piece outfit. So you have the top, and it has these little tiny zipper details on them. 
It's kind of like a little halter top and it has Velcro on the back. And then you have the skirt and the skirt actually has Velcro here in the front. And I think that the bow is supposed to go in the front, but maybe it goes, is that supposed to be the front of the dress? Maybe this is supposed to be the front. It has a little bow and then she comes with this little like cardigan to put over it and it's just really cute. Then next I have this motorcycle and sidecar and I am very excited about this because I think this is like the first kind of vehicle that they have made and I'm really really excited to try this out so let's get into it. Okay so here it is. I'm really excited about this because you can use this with two figures. Oh my gosh there's a kickstand. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, it has wheels and everything. Does this actually steer? <gasps> it actually steers. That is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. I love this so much. There's like a little license plate. So we got a bunch of stuff in here that I don't know what all of this is. Let's see if I can do this without... Or no, do I need to look at where these go? Oh, okay. So I think this is saying that you can separate the bike from the sidecar and then it comes with the extra side pieces. So I don't think I'm going to separate them though. So I don't think I really need that part. But there is this little piece that goes on the back of the bike. So I can put that on. Okay, cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So I don't think I need these pieces right now. Okay, let us try it out. They put magnets in the bottom so that she sits in there. Wait, let me change her hands. This is so cute. Okay, I changed her hands out. So let's see here. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. So she's not sitting on the seat super duper well. I kind of had to like stretch her around. Oh, look how cute that is. Her little hands fit on the steering wheel. I'm dead. I love it so much. Let me grab another Kuposh to put in the sidecar. Oh my God, I'm dying. Okay, I grabbed the original Anne. So now we have the original Anne and the Cotton Candy Anne. And they're so cute and I love this so much. Look how cute they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I really hope they make more stuff them. I'm dying. Next we have this cute posh friends Cinderella. I absolutely love the box on this. It kind of has like her carriage. She comes with a lot of different things. I'm very excited so let's get into this. Okay she comes with a ton of stuff but let's look at her first. Oh my gosh. <gasps> She is gorgeous. Her hair is beautiful. Oh my god, look at that detail of her hair. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. And then she has this gorgeous little dress on. It has this beading detail. Oh my gosh, there's a bow on the back. Little sparkles. Oh my gosh, I love her. Then she comes with a second piece of hair. And all of the hair pieces come in two pieces. So this is the back. So what we can do is snap off. Actually, I might have to take her whole head off here. So we can take her face and put it on here. And then we can put her front part on. And now she has long hair. I just love Kiposh. I love how, oops, her head's backward. I love how versatile they are. Then she has the most adorable glass slippers. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They have little magnets in them. So she has her little glass slippers. How cute. I love Cinderella. Oh my gosh, then we have a little tiara. How precious. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at that little pose. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, then we get this little carriage, which I think is supposed to be a purse. Super cute. And then I believe this goes in here. Does this move? Oh, it spins. Oh, it comes off. Wait, is this supposed to go on her head? I don't know why it has a magnet. Can you put this on her head too? 
confused. <gasps> Cute. I wonder if you could put this on like a boy one and then it's like a little prince. Cute. I love that. So you could probably um have her push this, I guess. I'm not really entirely sure what this is supposed to be but it's really cute and then she comes of course with her stand and extra hands i love her so much she's adorable i love her hair i love both hairs i love that it's like a gradient of a light pink to a dark pink oh i love her then lastly we have little red riding hood and i had seen her a long time ago and i thought she was super cute but never pulled the trigger on her for some reason. So recently I was just like, you know what? I really, really like her. So here we are. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Look how cute she is. I love her hair. Her hair is super adorable. I love how wild it is. This dress that she's wearing is so good. High quality. Oh, her head just fell off. Okay, hold on. Please don't fall off head. Her head, her head is super heavy. That's why her head just fell off. Um, but her dress though, it's so well made for being so tiny. Has like this lace fabric, this nice plaid ribbon. Um, this is like a satin-ish, I think, or maybe it's just a cotton. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Then we have her hood. I am so excited about this hood oh my gosh look how cute it is oh i love it okay let's put it on her okay this is super adorable i don't know if this is how it's supposed to go oh her head keeps popping off there is a black ribbon that is attached to this and i'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the black ribbon if you're supposed to tie it around her I'll have to look at the instructions here in a minute, but the hood is super cute. I love her. Then she comes with little wolf ears, which is adorable, of course. I'm trying not to say adorable 50,000 times, but it, you know, it, it just is. Okay, so there's those. Oh my gosh, there's so many accessories. We have a piece of grass, like a grass prop, I guess. It has a magnet in it, and I don't know if that's what this flower is for but cute cute oh my gosh then we have two little baguettes oh my gosh i love it there's two little baguettes i saw there's a little thing of wine here oh my gosh this little picnic basket <gasps> oh my gosh how cute is that you can put the little baguettes in there <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. Then there's like a little bottle of wine. It's a little disconcerting considering that little red riding hood is supposed to be like a little girl, right? But you know, that's fine. Maybe she's just taking it to her grandma to for her grandma to have a good time. That is so cute. I love that they all come as like separate pieces that you can take in and out of the basket. I'm dying. So cute. So this is a little flower and it has a magnet on it. So I'm assuming. Yeah, so it goes on there. I'm not really sure what the point of this is, if it's just like an extra prop, but okay, these boots. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're like made out of rubber. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at the little bow. I feel like usually Cupa shoes, like they're just hard plastic, but the fact that these are like rubbery makes me so happy for some reason. Oh my gosh love it so cute though oh my gosh i still don't know what this is for let me also i just want to mention that what is really nice is that they give you a little like ziploc bag so that you can store all of the little accessories and pieces and i really just appreciate that you know it's the little things okay so they're showing that you tie it like that around the front so let me see if I can do that. The bow is too big, but she is precious and I love her so much. I need to change her hand so she can hold her little basket. Okay, there she is holding her little basket and everything's flying out of it. 
This is just so cute. I love this so much. I love all of the accessories that she comes with. Ugh, so cute. Okay, so that is my Kuposh haul for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I freaking love Kuposh. I think they're super duper cute and I love them. I really hope that they continue to make stuff for Kuposh because they're just so cute and I love them so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.